to Cindy Marie. I am up here filming in my nine-year-old's room for the 40 bags and 40 days challenge. And so far we are going to, I think, look into her closet, her drawers. I have some containers underneath her bed. Um, I already went through her personal items, you know, like bras and underwear and socks and stuff like that. And I think I also went through pajamas. So um, I thought this was the perfect place to start since she is growing a lot. And yeah, so let's get started.
So I went through one of her bins. This is one that I put her summer clothes, Halloween, and we are ready to cluttered a bunch of stuff that was in there. And this is what we ended up with. So I do need to pull the Christmas stuff out of her closet still. I might have already done it and just kind of put it on her shelf. So I'm gonna figure that, but I have one more container to go through and then I'll show you what I pulled from that. Okay, so this is what we end up keeping and that's what we're getting rid of. You know, she's worn a lot of these dresses, but she's getting taller and you know, I think she wore this like once or twice. Um, oh, sorry, I was off camera. This one, yeah, she's won once or twice, but she doesn't like sequins anymore, you know? She's just, she's gonna be 10. But she did find some long overalls that we had in here that were too big, and she's actually gonna wear those tomorrow. So, we have decluttered quite a bit. I'm gonna see, I think I'm gonna pull her Christmas stuff, because obviously she doesn't need to wear that anymore. Um, yeah, we've made some progress. Let's keep going. decluttered my closet um quite a bit actually I it's not that I won't ever do shipped again but I don't like wearing their shirts so um I'm actually going to be getting rid of my green ones I think I already got rid of the black ones because I didn't like it what do you want well why are you getting rid of those I don't need them Oh. and sorry and yeah because I don't like wearing the t-shirts I usually just wear regular clothes just getting rid of a lot of clothes that I just don't wear that I think others could use more than I could some I've had for a while so I'm just ready to purge So 
so um yeah a couple of these are from torrid from lane bryant so i'm just ready to part with them Let's see there's one that had like a This one was always like too short on me and it like hurt my shoulders. Another Lane Bryant one. Okay. So this is all garbage? Yep. I think here. That too? Yeah. All right, see, hubby's getting rid of stuff for the garbage. These are all old work shirts. I think you're a team one. Okay. Oh, gotcha. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so next is my purse collection. I've had, like, this is old. I mean, I might have gotten this when I lived in Arizona. And, like, just the style. I'm ready to part with them. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> Definitely has, like, a small cell phone hole. So I'm ready to part. This is just, just a purse. What is this brand? You, Michael's Bay. Nothing special. So it's fine. Give this one up. I love this guest purse. I don't think I'll ever give this one up. I just absolutely love it. I mean, it's so small, especially on a bigger body. It's very, um, <laughs> it's very, very small, but I just love the style of it. I just, I can't get rid of it. This is not a true coach. I got this at, um, one of our, what is it? It's like, a a fair, you know, a local fair, a fair that comes, you know, every year. And it's one of those, you know, tents. Um, yeah, it's cute and all. I just don't like how it's kind of just like flimsy. So, yep, I'm getting rid of this one. I have to say, getting rid of things, like, really feels good. Okay, these are the Kathy Van Zandt ones I was telling you about. See how they're all, like, they're, like, cinched. And so, they're all in great condition. Um, I just don't care for them anymore. Just making sure I got nothing in them. But yeah, it's just, yeah, I think they were like 60 to $70, I think, maybe when I bought them. Oh, <laughs> this is when I sold paparazzi. Here's evidence. Um, these were for you to carry your jewelry with or do bag parties. Um, unfortunately, that sticker's on there. I don't know if I should give this to Goodwill. Someone could probably take care of that or I don't know. It's not a bad purse except for like this here. So I think I'm just going to donate it anyways and hopefully someone can clean that. So I'm not doing it. So I have two bags of clothes downstairs. No, three bags of clothes downstairs, one here that's four bags. I have one that's garbage, that's five, and then I'm working on my six bag here. So six out of 40 so far. And so this is empty now. Um, I do have more purses downstairs, but I think I'm just gonna put this one up on, I think I have some up here, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna store them in here for right now. Um, I looked in the top of my closet and I actually have more purses. Okay. I 
I like this purse. I actually, not thrifted, it was actually brand new, but I did get this at Salvation Army. And again, it's just, it's so big. And I'm just, I just want smaller purses now. I don't, I feel like I don't have any ch young children anymore. I don't have to keep like a spare diaper. I don't have to keep snacks for my kids. Like, I just don't need these type of purses anymore. So I'm going to take off my little Cynthia keychain if I can get it off. I think it's for a zipper. I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this too. Not get rid of. I'm going to donate it. Okay. Guess I'm keeping. This is the DKNY purse that I love. I'm not tossing that. Connor got me this one. You're my son. It's not my style of purse. Um, he got it for like $3. And I mean, I actually think I might wear it again, maybe like this coming up winter. I just thought it was so sweet that he got me that. So I have to keep that. Blackhawks purse. <laughs> totally keeping that. Okay. This is another like really big purse, but I like this one and I like the color, but it's, huge inside but I don't know I like this purse so I'm actually gonna keep this one and then this is my big guest purse yeah I have to keep that one too I love this purse love 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 I think it's a Jessica Simpson purse I mean it doesn't really matter does it but um I don't know it doesn't really matter um but I love it and it's definitely like a spring purse oh it's a little cut there sadness but um yeah I'm gonna keep this one so I got rid of one I do need to keep it in something though they I can't even reach them on my shelf so I don't know I kind of want to keep them in something else, not in like a storage container. I don't know what I want to do, but I got to think of some kind of storage that I could keep them from. But anyways, I started on my other bag now, so that's five of donated stuff. So I'm going to keep going. Okay. I didn't like these for my husband. Um, these are the other ship shirts that... I won't wear and this is the new logo so if someone does do shipped they will be happy to find those but I just I hate t-shirts guys like I hate t-shirts with a passion the shirts that I do have they're most likely roomier on the neck I just I don't I don't like things close to my neck and these you know I wear like 3X. Oh, these are 2X. Um, even the 3X were like tight. Ugh. No. And they're slinky shirts that like stick to your body. And I'm sorry. Like in the summer, it ain't going to happen. So. Oh. It feels amazing to just get rid of stuff. And. I think her name is Organized with Joy, I think. And, you know, I think it was her. She was saying that if you're decluttering or getting rid of things that um, that comes with, like, I think privilege or, I mean, you have to have things in order to give it away. And so I think that's why I'm having a easier time getting rid of things because I just feel like I've been blessed. I also not hoard onto things, but I keep things until it doesn't, you know, work anymore. So, um, you know, I will take hand-me-downs. I, 
I've never been shy of those kind of things. Um, I'm very grateful for everything that I have, but it's time to get rid of things and give it to a better home. So that's why I'm, I'm really loving this challenge and, you know, obviously throw things away that we don't need, can't use, are broken, holes, whatever. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm actually going to pause this right here because I do want to go downstairs and show you what I'm using to mark off how many bags I have completed this way. Okay. Okay. So I am doing, I have this sheet here. It would be easier if I put it on a tripod, obviously. Um, no, let me flip you guys around again. <laughs> okay. So I have done, I'm donating I got one, two, three, four bags I'm donating, two garbage bags full. So I've done six, I believe. I feel like I have five donated bags. I have like, no, I think that's about right. No, it is five. Yeah, five and then two garbage bags. So that is my progress for you. I say that's pretty good. And while I was doing this, um, I went through my bedside table. I went through my jewelry again, my closets in Kayla's closet. Um, yeah. So I think this was a pretty successful week. So I hope that you are joining in on this 40 bags in 40 day challenge. It's kind of fun actually. So, um, but yeah, there you go. So I have quite a bit of ways to go. It ends on April 5th and obviously you don't have to do 40 bags, but you know, it'd be awesome if you did. I would love to know your progress too. Please tell me in the comments how you guys are doing and I will see you in the next one. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, check the ladies in the description and make sure that you check them out and see their progress as well. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.